Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a chit chat get ready with me. I'm going to recreate this kind of makeup. I don't know if I'll change it a little bit or what, but this is my inspiration. It's from a Farmer's Beauty Week catalog. I just saw it and I was obsessed with like the really soft jewel tones on the eyes and then like the really like bright kind of pink lips. So that's what I'm going to do today and I've got bunches of new products as well. This video isn't sponsored by the way. I've got bunches of new products um, that I want to try for the first time and kind of do like some like first impressions just like immediate first impressions try out some new stuff super cloudy and raining outside which is perfect lighting but it's really miserable outside and then inside it's so hot i've got my air con blasting cold air on me so hopefully you can't hear it i need to test out my new microphone i bought one but i haven't like had time to play around with it yet so i didn't want to use it in this video in case i screw it up and then the whole video is ruined do you know what i mean by the way i have no fake tan on also, I just washed my hair. Sometimes when I film when I've just washed my hair, people are like, oh my god, your hair's so greasy. But I just washed it and it's kind of damp. Just putting that out there. I'm just going to spritz some primer water by Smashbox on my face first. I already moisturized this morning, so it's running out. New stuff. <laughs> I was going to use a new foundation, but none of them match me because I am too fair right now. I have a slight natural tan, but I've been trying to keep out of the sun because obviously too much sun isn't really good for you, especially in New Zealand. If you didn't know, we've got a giant hole over our ozone layer, which makes New Zealand sun way more harsh than other places in the world. This looks like it's going to match pretty well. This is the L'Oreal True Match in 1D1W. I've been really liking this lately. I've been using it quite a lot. And I'm going to add in a couple of Cover Effects custom cover drops. This is the shade G20. I just bought these. Got them off Sephora because I wanted the lighter shade compared to the other one. I think I have GD40 or G40 or something like that. Which obviously when I've got no fake tan on is a bit too dark. But I think this is going to work okay at the moment. I'm just going to use like... <gasps> Did you see that? I'm gonna use about a pump and a half now that I lost half of it on my desk. And then just like two drops of the custom cover drops. What these do is they give more coverage. And then I'm gonna mix it up. Oh my gosh, this is going everywhere. I'm gonna use a clean flat top face brush, Fake So Beauty, um, just cause I want like a nice full coverage today. And I'm just going to tap that up and down to conceal my redness and imperfections. <laughs> Those custom cover drops literally make you look flawless. How creepy does this look? Let's be honest. Anyway, so I'm just going to keep blending this out until it doesn't look so strange. Didn't use half the product. Remember your ears. Ears are often very pink and it's good just to put a little bit of foundation on them just to help them kind of blend in. <laughs> just making sure to blend that down my neck as well. My body's even like a shade darker than my face right now but that's fine because once I put on powder and bronzer and everything it'll definitely match. If that's not a flawless coverage I don't know what it is. I want to try out this Urban Decay color corrector I picked up as well. This is in the shade Peach. I grabbed it off Sephora at the same time as the custom cover drops. It's supposed to be good for dark circles so I'm going to use a little bit under my eyes because as you can see they're a little bit dark and purple. This looks a little bit better for my fair complexion than the bigger one because the bigger one is very, very intense and very like orange. However, this is like a peachy, pinky, peachy color. I love the packaging. I'm just going to use my jewel petal brush just to blend this out. Ooh, it's not focusing. Focus. This is a nice tapered edge just to get in around the eye area or you can use that end if you want. I'm just dusting the leftover of that peach like that's on my brush, the corrector just over my freckles. What is this? I got sent this from Elizabeth Arden. Flawless Finish Correcting and Highlighting Perfector. This is in the shade 2. I'm guessing this is like the Touche Clar, or however you say it, by <coughs> YSL. You never know when it's just gonna like come shooting out at you. You can cramp. <laughs> I'm gonna add a couple swipes of this and I'll probably just use some normal concealer as well but just because it says brightening or illuminating I should say I just wanted to add some just to make my skin look nice and fresh when I am fair I feel like I have to have a good like glow happening because otherwise I can look a little bit sick so if you find you have a similar problem maybe try that I'm not saying that pale people look sick okay I'm talking about myself here so I'm just blending that out I wish I was like one of those people that could just pull off super matte porcelain skin but I just 
I don't know if I can do it. And then this hair is Chantilly by Nas Creamy Radiant Concealer. It's nice and fair, which is what I want because I kind of want to highlight the area. So I'm just going to add a little bit of this as well. And then I've kind of like wiped off the majority of that peach concealer corrector thing. And I'm just going to use the same brush to pat over that. And then once again, I'm going to put any leftover just over my nose. I think that corrector worked really, really well. And then I'm just kind of like buffing it onto my cheekbone because I find when you do... The triangular shape with the concealer under your eyes it just looks really flattering if you kind of put it on the top of your cheekbones it highlights for you kind of like in a similar way as you would with like cream contouring it's like the same thing i'm just going to use a little bit more concealer just over the really really dark areas where i probably could have used a little bit more of that corrector my under eyes have been terrible lately i think it's because i haven't been drinking enough water i've been traveling a lot and when i travel a lot i like actually put off drinking too much water because when i'm at home i drink a lot but i also pee a lot because my bladder seems to be the size of a peanut so since i'm traveling and like walking around and like i'm not in the comfort of my own home i don't want to be going to the bathroom every two minutes so it's not very good one day i don't know why but i was just feeling so thirsty and i drank like four and a half liters of water in one day and the next day i woke up my under eye area was so plump. Literally, like if I ever get married, I'm gonna do it before my wedding day because I literally had, see these like lines I get when I'm like really tired and dehydrated basically because I was so hydrated, like there was no line here. Like my under eye area was so smooth. It was incredible. Like I should be doing that every day, but I was just living in the bathroom. So there you go. It is a very bright under eye, isn't it? Yeah, I'll show you one of my new brushes that's coming out. This is my new small tapered face brush, so my last one wasn't as tulip shaped as this. It's only called the Tulip Shimmer Brush, I think I've called it. It doesn't have the logo written on it yet because this is just like my production sample. But yeah, like, look at it. It's so beautiful and it's nice and dense. Perfect for highlighting, perfect for powder under the eyes, perfect for blush, contouring, just whatever. So many uses. And I'm going to use the NYX contouring highlighting palette and I'm going to mix the two middle shades, the yellow and the kind of like whitish pinkish color. And I'm just going to press that under my eyes. <laughs> you know those eyebrow hairs that you pull out and it like makes your whole face just like cry and then I'm gonna take a little bit and just pat that down the very center of my nose now I'm gonna take a powder brush this is one with the old logo because my new ones are in my makeup bag which are in my suitcase and I'm gonna try this new powder well new to me this is a transparent powder and as you can see I don't really need any more coverage this is the Rimmel Clear Complexion. Rimmel Stay Matte Powder is one of my favorite like affordable powders. So hopefully I like this one too. It's not gonna have any coverage. I'm just using it to set my foundation in place so it doesn't fade or move or anything like that throughout the day. It doesn't really have a scent, but it smells good. Does that make sense? Probably not. Translucent powder is also really, really good. If you suffer from like patchy bronzer, patchy blush and stuff like that. Just run a bunch, like literally like run a bunch of translucent powder along the area first. It just makes the surface easier to blend on top of. And it's good because it doesn't like look visible on the skin so it's not gonna look cakey or anything. And then once you're done with everything, just use a little bit of finishing spray just in case there is some excess powder like sitting on top of your skin. All right, we're all powdered. I just look like I've got a line just here. Did I not like blend my foundation up there properly? All right, so I'm gonna start using this L'Oreal La Palette Nude in Rose or Rosé. Here are the colors. I'm gonna use some of these and then just some other random eyeshadows. I don't know yet. I'm starting with a blender brush. I'm gonna take this matte kind of like rosy taupe color. I've never used this eyeshadow palette before, so hopefully it's good. Looks pigmented so far. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to prime my eyelids. This is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade Black Orchid. It's a nice kind of like taupe, like a purpley taupe color. And I'll use an angled eye brush. I'm just going to put this on the eyelid up to the crease. I'm also going to put a little bit under my eye as well. I love this brush because you can kind of like angle it right. And then just buff it into the crease and it does all the work for you. And then just underneath the eye. I'm going to do quite a smoky lower lash line. Just wiped the excess product off my brush. So I'll use this again soon. But I'm going to go back in with that blender brush now. And that like purpley taupe colour. And I'm going to put this in the crease. So far so good. And I'm just using the little brush the palette comes with. I'm going to take that highlighting shade and put that under my brow bone. Such a small brush. <laughs> Then I'm going to take this colour here, like the real purple kind of duochrome. It's not really duochrome, just really shimmery purple colour. Back in with my angled eye and I'm going to pat that on the lid. 
I just want to warm up my crease a little bit. So I'm going to take a bronzer, maybe this top really, really warm color. And then this is a tapered blender. I'm just going to put that right on that kind of crease area just to really warm it up. And I'll also just put that underneath. I'm bringing it quite far down because I'm going to do purple like right in close to the waterline. I just want to kind of outline where I'm going to put the purple. Now to make the purple really pop, I'm going to take two different colours. So this is Ardency and Orchid and then this is Chi Chi Livin La Vida Loca. I'm going to do the dark purple first and then I'm going to pat some of that real vibrant purple on top. I'm going in with my little angled top brush again and Livin La Vida Loca is going to go on that lid. It's very similar to that um, L'Oreal colour I just used except it's a little bit more purpley. Like it's got a little bit more oomph to it, like a little bit more shimmer. Being a little bit more careful where I place this colour. I don't want to go past the crease. This is going to be like a really dark, not dark dark, but quite a dark purple smoky eye with like a punch of colour still because of the purple. Then I'm using a tapered eye brush, which as you can see has more of a tapered edge to it. And I'm going to use this underneath. By the way, yes, I use my own brushes. I've seen like three or four comments lately. Majority of people are so nice about my brand and everything, like about me promoting it, I should say. But some people are like, oh my god, just use something different. And I do use other branded brushes occasionally, but for the most part, of course, I'm going to use my own brushes because these are developed exactly how I want them. Like, to me, these are my ideal brushes. So, of course, they're going to be my favorite. I wouldn't sell them if they weren't my favorite, so that's why I kind of use them a lot. I usually have to, like, force myself to step away and use something different, but, you know, I still do, like, some Sedona Lace brushes, e.l.f. brushes, Real Techniques, you know. But at the end of the day... I'm in love with my brushes, so that's why I use them so religiously. I think you guys would be worried if I owned these brushes and never ever ever used them. You know what I mean? I'm going right into that kind of inner corner with this. I'm going to use something real shimmery on the inner corner um, afterwards, like once we're done with all the colour. I love this eyeshadow, it's beautiful. I'm even going to use this brush just to pack some more on the lid. Because this brush is really good at packing on colour. I have a little bit of fallout, but we will conceal that later. Once again, going in with that angled brush and then orchid. Oh, I love this eyeshadow. It's so pretty. I'm going to pat this. Mm, I'll start on the very center. So it's just going to add some like brightness. Can you see the difference? And I'm just going to layer up two or three coats just to make it super vibrant. And then before I put it on my lower lash line, I'm going to do some waterline eyeliner. So this is their picture. Their picture's a little bit more frosty and like light colored. I'm going to do a really bold purple because I feel like it. It's only inspired. I'm not, you know, copying it. So we're going to do it my way. This eyeliner is ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Piggy Bank. <laughs> I was like, does that say Ricky Martin? <laughs> I could not read it. Ooh, it kind of matches. I feel like this is all like very colour themed. This is kind of like a fuchsia colour. It's not so jewel toned as the other purples, which is why I chose it because I want it to kind of contrast while still looking like it's all one look. Oh, I love it. And then I'm going in with a trusty pencil brush and orchid again. And this is gonna go right up underneath that waterline. And I'm packing it on to make it look really nice and bright. And then I'm using that tapered brush again just to kind of Make sure it's all nice and blended. Alright, I'm going to do some face makeup and then I'll finish off my eyes soon. And the reason sometimes I do my face makeup like halfway through my eye makeup is because then I don't get any like bronzer powder or like highlight powder in my mascara. Because sometimes that can happen and then you don't really notice it but it does make your mascara less black looking. This is like perfect party makeup. I'm just going to use my NYX contour kit again. I'm going to go back in with that really warm brown and I'm going to bronze with this. I'm bringing that all around my hairline as well. Actually, I'm redeveloping. This is the old medium face brush. I'm redeveloping this as well. I'll show you a sneak peek. So here's the old one and here's my new one. So what I've done is I've made it a little bit longer and it just makes it a little bit more like fluffy. This one's a little bit more like dense, which is really good for placing color, but it just means you have to spend a little bit more time blending. However, this one just blends as you go. Other than that, very similar size and shape, and same like front ways. So if you liked the old medium face brush, the new one is just like that one step even better. I'm going to use the new one now. So I'm just kind of like blending that around my hairline, down my cheeks, and do a little bit on my nose. See, I feel like my face matches my chest a little bit better now. 
And then I'm going to take my favourite brush of all time right now, the bronzer brush. Which obviously you can use for bronzer like what I just did, but I've been loving this to contour with. My contour game has just like jumped up 10 notches lately and it's all because of this. Because it's so perfect, like it's nice and narrow. It's fluffy enough to blend, but it's just so nice and dense that it really like creates a nice sharp contour line. Otherwise you can just like use it to blend out bronzer. I've used it for that time as well, that's why I called it the bronzer brush. Most people would probably use it for bronzer, but... I also like it for contouring. So I've taken like a little mixture of the two in the middle, like the two contour shades here. And then I like to go literally like a tiny amount above where my cheekbone is. Because as you blend, you start going downward anyway. Can you see how sharp that is? Oh. And then I'm going to use a little bit of that more contour shade just in my temple. And then just start blending that up a little. And then just going in with another angled brush, like a clean one, I use the little yellow powder just to kind of sharpen up that line. I just do like one stripe and then just let it sit there for a while. I feel like my contour looks so much better on my ugly side of my face, which annoys me. I think it's because I have this weird like dimple like into my skin that kind of like hits just here and makes my contour look weird. I'm going to use Clinique Nude Pop for my blush today. I love this one. It's kind of like a peachy nude colour. This is a dense fibre brush. I'm using quite a lot of this because it is very sheer. Um, you just have to kind of build it up but the colours are so pretty. Now I'm going in with a shimmer fan brush. They actually used a Bobbi Brown highlighting powder for their look. So I might use the same one because I own it. This is it here. So I'm just using my little fan brush. This is called Pink Glow by Bobbi Brown. This looks so good with that purple. Like it just complements it. And then just to clean up these lines just in here, I'm going to use my little Shimmer Tulip brush again, coming soon. And this is Well Rested by Bare Minerals. I'm just taking some product right on the tip. And then just popping that right where I need it. And now you can see that underneath it's nice and sharp on both eyes. Alright, now let's do the inner corner shimmer. I got sent a new Metallics eyeshadow by Australis. I love these. This one is in Guns and Rose Petals. It just looks like a really pretty like soft kind of pink silver metallic. So I'm going to put this on my inner corner. I'm just using this little L'Oreal sponge tip. Sponge tip applicators are really good for creamy products like this because they blend them out so nicely. So don't throw them away. Keep them for your creams. I love it. It looks so good. So this is her eyes versus my eyes. I've gone a lot more bold. So that was my little inspiration. I'm definitely going to do some kind of bold lip like this as well. Obviously this would look good with nude, but I don't feel like doing nude, so... Okay, I've decided I'm going to use Queen, which is by OCC. Again, it's a little bit brighter. Mine looks almost a little bit better for spring, whereas I feel like this look is a little bit better for autumn, which we're going into autumn. We're in autumn now. <laughs> you see what I mean, though? Like, this one's a little bit more subtle. This one's a little bit more bold. First, I'm going to use this lip liner called Playful by BH Cosmetics. Remember the days when we all thought that lip liner was just for like old women? Now look at us. This lip tie is so pretty. Oh, I like the way that looks even. So this is going to add a little bit more pinky brightness. I am happy with my decision. Now I am quickly going to fill in my eyebrows a little tad. I'm just going to make my eyebrows ever so slightly thicker. This here is Chi Chi Taupe. And this is a eyebrow groomer brush by Exo Beauty. My favourite brow brush in the entire world. I caught up with one of my friends recently. And she was like, holy shit, your eyebrow brush has changed my life. I was like, yay. I'm literally using the tiniest amount on my brush. This pomade stuff is so intense. Um, you need like the smallest amount. I'm using taupe for my eyebrows today instead of blonde because my roots are so dark at the moment. My eyebrows still kind of hurt from where my dog head butted me. Louis like woke up in the morning and just completely slammed his head into my face and it really hurt. <laughs> and then I'm going to use my Ico brow gel. I haven't used this in so long. This was like my holy grail for ages. And I'm just going to use this to set all the hairs in place. This eyebrow didn't cooperate today. Now I'm going to take a super dark purple eyeliner. This one here is called Awesome Performance by Makeup Store. I'll have a link down below to where you can buy Makeup Store. I'm just putting a small amount of this right into my lash line because I want to put on falsies so this will help camouflage the lash band. Just like that, but then I'm going to soften that line a little with my pencil brush because I don't want it to be too harsh. While I remember, I'm just putting on some Revital Lash. 
I'm just going to use this Lash Sensational by Maybelline. I'm going to reuse these Aerist Lashes, I believe these are. I'll double check and put it in the down bar, but I've used these a couple times. So I'm just going to use these ones because I feel like they'll look really pretty with this look anyway. Now I'm going back in with my mascara and I'm going to put on a shit ton. False eyelashes are freaking awesome. So that's how we are looking. And now I'm just going to do a little bit of bottom lash mascara by Clinique on the bottom lashes. I'm just being careful not to get that all over the purple. Alright, the lash glue is still drying a tiny bit, but what do you guys think? As I said, of course, feel free to go nude lips because that'll always look good. Randomly popping in this video again. <laughs> I just chucked on a nude lipstick because I'm filming the intro to another video. So I thought I'd show you. This is Fame by Colourpop, which is a sheer formula. And then I've put Candy Kiss on top. So that's what's on my lips now. And don't you think it looks super good? I love it. Anyway, back to the hot pink lips now. Anyway, as I said, this is not sponsored. I just really love that look. So I want to just try it out. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat get ready with me video. If you did, please thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. Have an amazing day and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Hey everyone. So recently I placed a rather large order on Sephora. So I thought I'd better do a haul for you today. Now a few of these things are just things I've wanted to pick up for myself over the last while. And then majority of these things are actually some products that you guys have requested reviews, first impressions, etc, etc. That 